Congressman Paul, in 2007, in an interview, you were asked, should gays be allowed to marry? You said, quote, sure, they can do whatever they want and call it whatever they want. Are you advocating legalizing gay marriage in this country? Well, m matter of fact, I, s I spent a whole chapter in a new book I've written on marriage, and I think it's very important, and seeing that I've been married for 53, 54 years now, but I think the government should just be out of it. I think it should be done by the church or private contract, and we shouldn't have this argument. Who's married and who isn't married? I have my standards, but I shouldn't have to impose my standards on others. Others have standards, and they have no right to impose their marriage standards on me and I just don't like it but if we want to have something to say about marriage it should be at the state level and not at the federal government just get the government out of its one area where it's totally unnecessary and they've caused more trouble than necessary all right given that answer I have to ask you about your defense of the defense of marriage act which defines marriage as between one man and one woman even just weeks ago, you criticized this administration for its decision to no longer defend it against legal challenges. And, and the main reason there is the Defense of Marriage Act, and it, I've been quoted as I voted for it. Of course, I supported it, but I wasn't there. But because that bill actually protects the states, see, I do recognize that the federal government shouldn't tell the states what to do, and the Defense of Marriage Act was really designed to make sure that the, uh, th that the states have the privilege of dealing with it, and the federal government can't impose their standards on them. Thank you, sir.